Okay, Colin first Google project, drivable hot tub car spa. We've got a convertible beamer, it holds water, amazing. But that's like the skeleton, now I need to add a skin. And I've got some products I want to use from the Google advertisers to cover over this thing. So I want to put a barbecue in it. I want to use leaf blows to create bubbles and I want to put some artificial grass around the whole thing. So it's kind of like a moving garden, stroke hot tub strike, general just bit of fun basically. But before that, I'm thinking about the drain pipes. We've got wastes underneath the car at the moment. It dunks it all over the road. That's quite amusing. I have a cunning idea. This way. Right, drain pipes. Let's get some stainless pipe, run it along the sill here, flick it out, make it look like a you know super fat exhaust pipe. But it's not an exhaust pipe. It's a drain. <laughs> right, elbow, 45, connect on the bobbies. Excellent. Right, next up, bubbles. Now, to produce the bubbles, we're going to use one of the products from the Google advertisers. We got a leaf blower! Yeah, we're going to set this on the side of the car, then we'll get a flexible tube, it'll be a pipe going down the back of the seat, under the seat, that'll have loads of holes in it, so when this thing is like revving at full belt, <laughs> should be bubbles coming up all underneath the seat, all around the car. Excellent, fantastic. First thing we need to do, we need to make a little adapter to shove in the end here to put a flexible piece of tube over. There we are. Love it! Right, so we've got a flexible bit of tubing. All we need to do now is put some decking on, mount the leaf blowers, and we can connect the two up and boom, bubbles! Okay, so I'm gonna put a barbecue in the boot. Which barbecue? This barbecue. If you're wondering why it's in a bit of a mess, this is another one of the products from the Google suppliers and on the Google advert, which we filmed the other day, it took a bit of a beating. But I don't believe in waste, so I'm going to salvage it and still use it. Because even though it's, uh, it's frames broken, but the actual structure of it is still in one piece. Right, let's get it fitted, if it will fit. How convenient. Copyright image on the other side. Pretty pleased with this. It's a BM griddle, you now. This will catch on. Right, now I need to cover this whole thing in artificial grass.
Cut in my grass, cut in my grass, cut in my grass to put on my boot. Now the artificial grass I'm using is called Nam grass and it's the good stuff. It basically looks like real grass and not look like that stuff they used to put on market stalls in the 70s. But as I've never covered a car in stuff like this before, this is proving quite a learning curve. As an E30 lover, I'm not sure about this because we've kind of hidden all the lines of the car and it just looks like a big furry thing. It's kind of like it's got a coat on. We're just going to plough ahead anyway and see what it looks like when it's finished. But they are such nice cars without the grass on them. Maybe I should have done this to a car I don't like. <laughs> nah! pleased with that. I was a little bit sceptical at the start because I love me 30s but I think it looks pretty good and I think Google will be pleased and uh, the people whose products we've used I think they'll be pleased as well. But next up I've got to fill it with water, I'm gonna have a drive, have some fun, cook some burgers, blow some bubbles. Next video, yes. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be filming the actual Google advert so fingers crossed it all goes swimmingly. <laughs> no, that